check out all this variety of data I'm getting in Microsoft Clarity for my enterprise web applications. So imagine I am the admin for our enterprise applications and I'm seeing all this data for things like uh, Airtable, Planner, Microsoft 365 applications, Dynamics, SharePoint, uh, learning management systems, all kinds of different things. I'm seeing popular pages, I'm seeing dead clicks, rage clicks, all kinds of information here. So to give you a perspective of the environment that I'm talking about, let me flip to that. Here's the environment that my uh, users are using. So they have the SharePoint site as our internal intranet. They have things like Microsoft Planner where they do task management. They have uh, a non-Microsoft product altogether like Airtable where they do project tracking. Then there's a learning management system. In this case, uh, just a generic one, Eduflow. There's Power Apps. There's all these kinds of different applications, right? And I, as an admin, need to make sure that uh, the users are behaving in the governance and guidelines we have provided them. So that's where that Clarity dashboard came in. Let me flip back to that. Okay, back in Clarity. So now that you've seen the actual environment, this will make more sense. You got the, uh, this was the learning management system, Eduflow. You got the SharePoint site. You got Dynamics over here, which is our Dynamics CRM. You know, you have Power Apps right there. You have all kinds of stuff. It's telling me exactly what is happening in my environment. What are the popular pages? What are the different kinds of clicks like rage clicks, dead clicks, excessive scrolling, quick backs, people going somewhere and then going directly back to where they came from. A lot of great user behavioral insights that I'm getting in this dashboard. Okay. Now, I won't have time to dig into all that stuff, so let me just show you an overview of what else is there. If I click on recordings, for example, there are all types of recordings here. So if I click on this first one, this, now all the sensitive data is masked, so I don't see that, but I know this is Viva Engage. In fact, if I click on this uh, Generate Session Insights, which is Microsoft Copilot within Co Clarity, it's gonna actually give me insights of that. Here we go. User visited Viva Engage and more information that's coming up over here. Okay, so it took about a minute for it to all come up. Here's the insight. User spent this much time, did not click on any links or interact with any elements, left the page. Maybe he or she was interrupted or distracted. A lot of good information that I'm getting. And user is anonymous, but there is a, a unique ID. So if I do click on this one, this could become a filter actually, and it's going to look for other uh, recordings of the same user and check this out. This user actually got a JavaScript error and a quick back. So I can go check that recording out. I won't do that right now though, but that's the kind of stuff you can do. And here's another one. So this is a learning management system that we use. For example, it's showing me this is what the user was doing in there. Let me go forward here. You see the mouse movement? Okay. A lot of great insights to see exactly what the user uh, users were doing, how many clicks, how many pages they visited, how much duration. If I click on the Copilot here, it's going to show me insights for that. Pause here and come back. So that took about a minute also for it to uh, make this. User visited this website, spend most of their time looking at overview page, frequently switch between table ta tabs and windows. I mean, this is really important, good information that I want. I can even use this thing at the top right here to summarize a bunch of recordings together using Copilot, okay, which I'll show in a different video. Let's go on to heat maps. Many different heat maps from all different applications in our enterprise, like Eduflow, which is a learning management system, SharePoint, Microsoft Dynamics, and more. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to one of them. Let's go to the new employee engineering onboarding, view heat map. Now this is where I can see the heat map of what's most popular being clicked on. Not sure why people are clicking on this particular area, but it is happening. So I know something is there right here and right there. And then you got the ranked by most clicks. So you can click on this specific one and see where this is. Here we go. Number three, number four. So it's showing me the elements which are being clicked the most over here. Some other things to note over here, I'm looking at a click map. You can also look at the scroll map, how much people scrolled over here. 
Then you can look at the area map. Okay, how many clicks? What's the most important popular areas? A lot of good stuff you can look at over here. Um, to go back, you can always go to filters and then X this out, click on apply. And this brings you back to the heat maps to pick another one. I'll go to a different site altogether like this one, Edge of Flow, view heat map. Okay, so this, there's a lot more data over here. This button, for example, is getting clicked a lot. You can see that's why it's hot, most popular. And then it shows all different elements of what's the most popular element. If I click on number one, for example, it says ah, that's where the most clicks happened on top. Number two, it's at the bottom over here. Number three, courses, pages, and so forth. Lots of good data in these heat maps. And once again, if I don't like that, I can click on change screenshot and have a different screenshot for the same application. Now, a really cool thing over here is summarizing heat maps. Okay, so if I click on summarize heat maps here, see what happens. It's created creating the insights right now using AI. And it's telling me mistakes are possible, but here's all it's going to show me user behaviors, key takeaways, lots of good information. I'll pause and come back when it's done in about a minute. Okay, so it's done. Let's see what it's talking about as far as user behavior is concerned. First of all, using desktop devices, that's what the user is using most of the time to come to this site. It's good to know. Scrolling the entire page indicating high interest, great. Users on desktop devices, click on the header, which in this case, I can click on this and it will show me that it's talking about this one. That's the header. And that's our Visual SP Help button. So people are clicking on that because they need help on this site. Okay, so that's good for us to know. And then it's talking about the welcome message, sun setting banner, and any point in time I can click on that, it will take me to show me exactly what it's talking about. And then let's look at this key takeaways. How can you optimize the website? In this case, well, it's, it's an internal site better for tablet and mobile. Could use more responsive design. Showcase the value proposition better for the compelling headlines, you know, uh, subheadings. There's so much good information here. It's crazy of how much it gives me. And once again, I'm doing all this stuff on internal enterprise web applications. So you don't have to just use Microsoft Clarity for external websites. You can use it for internal enterprise web applications, which is amazing. So hope you got something out of this video. There's a whole lot more that I'll be doing talking about Clarity in a lot more detail in different sections. Uh, but use Microsoft Clarity for your enterprise web applications to understand the user behavior analytics of your user community.